It's a cloudy Friday morning. I'm just pulling out of Hood River. I'm gonna make a right turn here. And I will be leaving the Columbia River Gorge and heading up to the Mount Hood National Forest. distance I thought this was a building but it's just some stacks of fruit boxes well this isn't too bad here I'm going four miles an hour steady grade my heart rate is well within manageable and it's nice and kind of misting so it's keeping me nice and cool too okay 14 miles in almost two and a half hours since I left the hotel in a bit of climbing but manageable at this point i am on the shoulder of highway 35 uh, heading south out of hood river roughly towards government camp and the aca route kind of takes you on and off the highway which is nice but it does add some miles the aca route takes a right turn here and takes these back roads get you off the highway but there's a good shoulder and it's not that busy so I'm just gonna keep chugging down the highway sorry ACA 12 o'clock high noon 22 miles of slogging it uphill at I think I'm averaging about 6.8 or something miles per hour the trees are so dense I can hear the river but I can't see it because there's just so many trees. Very beautiful trees, but lots of them. in the afternoon 27 miles in and it's been a relentless four and a half mile an hour climb geez for the last I don't know how long now but I think I'm only gonna go a couple more miles and check out campground see if there's any available sites because just those couple of miles will take me <laughs> like an hour and 2 30 be a good stopping time Well, I made it to the Sherwood Campground in the National Forest, Mount Hood National Forest. Right here off of the Highway 35, but it's a Friday. And even though there's a lot of open sites, it seems like they're all, say, they're reserved. So I'm assuming everybody comes up Friday night after work or something. So there's another campground. That's another two miles up the road. Emphasis on up. All right, only 32 miles today. It's raining. I should have my hood on since I'm in Mount Hood. There, that's better. And uh, yeah, the first campground was all sold out and luckily that was at Sherwood, but at Nottingham, they had some non-reservable sites that were open. So I lucked out at 28 bucks. I guess that's not too bad, but it just seems a lot for a picnic table and a pit toilet. This will be home for tonight. So I'm about halfway up towards government camp, which is kind of the crest, from what I could tell, of Highway 35. Yep, creek water, salami, cheese, and crackers. My late afternoon lunch. It's actually rained a fair amount. When they got here, it was just starting up, so it was excellent timing. And I've been sitting in my tent for, gosh, like three hours, took a little nap. It's quarter to nine at night. And I'm going to just take a little stroll around the campground here.
Good morning from Nottingham Campground. Yeah, it rained well until I fell asleep and then I woke up and it wasn't raining. Not too bad, I'm drying stuff out. I think I let it dry a little bit and then the tent dries out pretty quick later when I set it up again. Underway at about 8.30, kind of a late start, but it was a bit of a soggy one. I pill up a dirt road to get out of the campground, but Nottingham was pretty nice. Very quiet, picnic table looked brand new. About 28 bucks, no shower, pit toilet, no water. Seems a little steep. and a half miles in. I feel like I've made it to some kind of pass or at least a high point, maybe a saddle, something good where there's some downhill perhaps, but not too much. I got downhill, woohoo! Heading down into some fog. Ooh, there's a spot in the sun up here, kind of sunny. I gotta pull in there and warm up. Yeah, kind of came downhill into a cloud bank and the temperature dropped and man, my legs got stiff. I tried to hit, go up this hill here and hey, I gotta defrost for a minute. Somewhere up behind that hill slash mountain is another huge mountain, Mount Hood, which seems to kind of generate its own weather because there's clouds all the way around there, but then blue sky there in the distance. So I think the mountain is just makes its own thing. Well, that's Mount Hood right up there behind those clouds. I'm headed to government camp, which sounds like a place that they send you when you don't pay your taxes. I just stopped into this barbecue place, pigged out on a big rib platter, and now I'm ready to turn some cranks. A lot of traffic on this section, but some very beautiful mountains and trees. Oh, that last stretch was pretty brutal. After you leave government camp, go downhill for about two miles but then you go right back up to a steep climb to, to regain that so kind of you know it's mountains that's the nature of the game <clears throat> but a lot of traffic moderate shoulder and uh, I'm waiting to get off this road which is I think another two or three miles still there's a lot of trees in Oregon a lot of trees turn is coming up to get off of this highway onto something a little quieter. All right, this is nice. At least so far, three o'clock in the afternoon. And I've only done 30 miles, but it's been some tough 30 miles. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of climbing and some hot stretches. Forest along here, this is uh, Forest Road 42. I think it's also referenced this Skyline Road. The forest along here is a lot drier uh, than the other side of Mount Hood. And the trees are a lot more kind of sparsely distributed. So you can see into the forest. Or perhaps at some time there was a fire burn through here or just some clear cutting, but definitely less density of trees, which makes it nicer from a visual standpoint you're not just in a tree tunnel. Hey 
I'm a little uncertain where I'm going to camp, so I just want to get some creek water in my canteen bottle so I can filter it later if I need to dry camp somewhere. Creek water. Luckily, I've got a water filter. Well, I got lucky and had found an available campsite at Clackamas Lake Campground. The camp host here was very friendly, where I purchased a bundle of firewood too, and uh, having a nice relaxing late afternoon, early evening. And it will be an early evening, believe me. Um, yeah, this mountain riding is <clears throat> pretty tiring. I did manage to get 37 miles in today, so... Uh, I felt that was pretty good for the terrain. Well, and I'm not looking to make miles. I'm looking to have a, a good time. Anyhow, uh, until tomorrow, ciao.